Warning, read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. Dynamic dig is our version of our dig control. We developed dynamic dig specifically for, for pipe welders, downhill pipe welders. It gives pipe welders an optimum arc that allows them to adjust parameters that will allow them to make x-ray quality welds every time. All right, so since we released our Dynamic Dig, I, I've gotten a lot of questions or guys calling in wondering how to set their machine and what these con controls do. So we have two, really two controls uh, for our downhill pipe welding process or XX10 process. The first control is right on the front panel of the machine uh, called our arc control. We've got a stiff 25 and a soft 25 and everything in between. Uh, it comes preset from the factory right in the middle, and that's a pretty good starting point for most applications, but depending on, on the size of pipe that you're welding on and the, and the size of electrode that you're using, you're going to adjust that up or down. But what that adjustment is really doing is kind of setting the response time of your arc. As you go towards stiff 25, that arc is going to respond faster it's gonna increase in that response. It's gonna freeze a little bit faster, give you a slightly more drive, help clean out your arc or your puddle a little bit, a little bit more. When you go to the soft side, it's gonna slow down that response time. The metal's gonna to tend to kind of flow out and be a little bit more soft or a softer arc. The dig range is a separate control in the hidden menu. That is gonna come from the factory set at 100. And again, that's a pretty good starting point for most applications but depending on the size of pipe that you're welding and the electrodes that you're using and your personal style you're going to set that accordingly. Now the higher you go on that dig range it's going to give you more drive or more penetration because you're reaching a higher amperage limit. The lower that you go it's going to be a softer response because you're decreasing the amount of amperage that that machine is able to reach out to on your VA curve. So a good rule of thumb, if you're putting in an eighth inch root pass, 532 fill and cap, you're going to want that dig range to be somewhere between 50 and 100. If you're putting in a root pass with a 532, hot fill and capping with a 316, it's going to be somewhere between 100 and 150 for your dig range. And then your R control will be up or down depending on what you see. And that should, that should do it for you.